Frank initially um, came up with the concept for um, the music line for, for Dollars. And I came up with the lyrics because at the time we were all just really broke. And we were just talking about having to hustle up gigs and what we were going to do and da 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 and try and get wedding band gigs and la la la, any kind of gig, you know, because that's what we do for a living. And we're fortunate that we're able to do that as a living. But some months are tougher come to than. Atlanta. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. The city of Atlanta. Exactly. So throw that out there. Better than LA, ATL. by the way. ATL. You know, if I got to choose a city, I got to choose mine. ATL is wonderful. I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of how that came about. And so when I started writing the lyrics, I said, you know, I want to talk about money, but not in the same way that I've heard it right. talked about. Because it's not just about being broke or just about having money. I also looked out into the world and saw that everybody was going through this. This wasn't just a unique experience for us. Everybody's have to figure out money in a whole new language and in a whole new way. And the American dream of being able to retire and do this, it's, it's different now. And I don't know that that's bad, it's just different. And I think that if we're going to talk about it, we do need to be cognizant of the fact that, you know, over the last five years, people have lost their homes, their retirements, their blah, blah, blah. It just didn't seem socially responsible for me to say, hey, look at me, I'm a baller, and this, right. this, this, and this. You know, not that there's anything wrong with that. I was just making a commentary, lyric-wise, on what I was seeing. And I, was, and I do wonder, you know, in the scope of my own musical career, if I say something that really means something to me, is anybody going to buy it? Mm -hmm. If I do something that's really meaningf meaningful, does anybody care? Mm -hmm. You know, do I have to do something that is disposable and derivative so that I can make a living? Because if that's the case, then I don't know that that's going to work right. for me. <laughs> if it don't make dollars, would it break heart? Yeah, if it don't as a non-musician, because I'm not a musician. From where does the, the, the inspiration of do this opposed to this come from? It's a lot of trial and error um, mm -hmm. for us. I mean, we try a lot of stuff. We'll put a bunch of ideas out on the table, throw some stuff at the wall, see what sticks. And like, there's never, there's never anything that's like in stone. Like we take some of our songs that we've done for a couple of years now and we change those sometimes. So, um, we, we, we really just try to keep an open mind. Like sometimes we'll get into arguments about how we think a song goes, but at the end of the day, we all will come together and we'll agree on something. We are so lucky to be free, to have new opportunities. 